Princess Rapunzel, we are honored to be in your presence today. And we are most delighted that you accepted our invitation to join us in the live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, who better to tell us the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Uh, now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you wish to know where to stand, we shall show you. Should you want to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. Very well then. Ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a radiant young lady named Rapunzel who lived at the top of a tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never allowed me to go outside. Each day as Rapunzel gazed out her tower window, she wondered when would her life begin. My dream was to go see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year. But today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by the sound of a familiar voice. Rapunzel! Mother Gothel? Let down your hair! Ah, uh, let me undo that for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have no idea how long it takes to break this. Ah, but of course. Uh, <laughs> stunt hair, please! Ooh, what's that? That is a theatrical representation of your hair! Oh, hi, love the theater! Rapunzel! I'm waiting! Oh, coming, Mother! Obediently, Rapunzel lowered her hair so that Mother Gotham could easily ascend the steep tower wall. Thank you. It should be noted by all in attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Ooh, Mr. Jones! Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel the fairest of them all. Hi! 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 Rapunzel! Oh, uh, Princess? <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel, Mummy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mr. Smythe sings your magic song? <laughs> Flower Whenever I sing magic song, my hair began to shiver and glow. And when it glowed, it's Mother Gothel Young with special healing power. As Gothel brushed the enchanted hair, the years melted away. Like sands through the hourglass, thus <laughs> were the days of our lives. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh, uh, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Now get me my mirror. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. <laughs> oh, look! You're here too! <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel, realizing this might be her last opportunity, summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, so I was wondering, I mean, since it's my birthday tomorrow, would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, uh, sorry, Samuel. Flower gleam and glow, let your power shine, make the clock reverse, bring back what once was mine. Ta-da! I told you the world is a dangerous place filled with ruffians and thugs. That's why I keep you locked up in this beautiful town. 